There you go, there's a bit of a different view. As you can see, we've got some old seagulls again. I think they're glad of a good feed after all that cold weather. Uh, I was fishing a dead body out of the uh, water tank in the field yesterday. Uh, yeah, the old crow or something, or a rook. loaded our very, 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 very last load of straw. That straw that I thought I was going to have to burn, I sold it. I bloody sold the stuff. Couldn't believe it. Loaded up on my lorry. I think I sold about five and a half loads of uh, bales, old hay, anything that weren't screwed down. They bought a lot. It went for cattle bedding, I think. The bloke's got a shredder. And he's going to uh, shred it with uh, that for uh, doing cattle bedding. So I think, what was it? I've done um, one, two, two and a half loads of uh, old hay. It was about 30 odd percent. And he said it was okay. So, um, you know, as far as I was concerned, if, that, if he's happy with it, he's the man who's buying it. So. He brought that, and he brought a load and a half of bean straw off of me. And um, I loaded about, I suppose, about a load and a half of um, old straw bales. Um, and uh, I picked up a load of hay for him as well. And uh, we did a uh, load and a half, uh, half a load of hay and half a load of straw today for him. Um, delivered that all to Norwich with a lorry like so Nick's had a busy week delivering that lot I've got to see if I can get a bit of power station work for next week because um, <coughs> I ain't got nothing else at the minute so I think it's going to be a little bit hit and miss all the way to uh, July to be honest with you the cookie crumbles we can get this bulker up and running we might earn a few bubble for that we've got the bulker running for varnish we're earning a bit from that keep the wall from the door yeah I've got a farm sale tomorrow so I'll be off to do that and see that tomorrow hopefully have a fair wind Nothing too much comes up. You know what will happen. I won't bother drilling this tomorrow and uh, I'll bloody rain for the next month after that. That'll teach me, won't it? Well, that's the power hour in. I'm hoping my microphone's a lot better now. Uh, as you can see across there, that's a lot better. That'll be a dream to drill that now. That'll go in lovely. Give the seed a nice chance. I might just uh, bung half underweight or underweight of nitrogen on there before I drill it. Just give the <coughs> Seed a good start. A few nutrients to get jumping on as soon as it's uh, putting its toes down. Uh, I'm 
Mike, or any of you say, yeah, I know I've got a crack in my windscreen. That was an expensive mistake by my old boy Jason. Uh, another job. Before we start harvest, they're all going to go through the workshop anyway, full services, and uh, have their nuts tightened and any damage or anything repaired. Steve's got some uh, a fair bit of welding to do on that trailer, so he'll be a busy boy when he gets back. The old boy's almost finished lambing. I think he's got uh, I think he's got three more to do. Yeah, he's got three more to do, so. And he's done. No, if old Stevie don't come back soon, he ain't been very well, but if he ain't back soon, I'm gonna have to nick the mighty 7270 out of the barn and put it on the uh, drill. I like drilling, I quite like it, but can't do everything. I've got a lot, lot of irons in the fire at the minute and uh, it takes a fair old bit to keep up with everything. I've managed to get the trailer that I bought, that's all been replated now. They're sending over the new plating certificates. Um, the plating, so you have to have a plating certificate on the side and um, it's uh, it was missing so I had to send off serial numbers and everything and uh, what they call the C number there's a number I was uh, welded in the chassis and it's a um, number for that trailer I had to send that off with a serial number and everything to get new plating certificates issued. So, young man rang me today, a Welshman from Wales, and uh, told me that it was all sorted out, asked me a couple of questions, and uh, all sorted out and on their way to us. So, should be able to get them in a couple of days. Looks like Jack is finished, so. He'll be coming up. I'm going to send him back to the farm now to uh, do Christmas field. If you can knock the top off of that now. I've got about one more pass on this bit here, then I'd start the other way then. I do like this field management though on the joystick, it is a lot, once you get it all programmed up it is so much easier, especially with this tractor with the, the uh, Vario box in it, um, you don't even have to touch the clutch, you just uh, backwards forwards on the joystick. I don't know whether I want Jack to come on to here because um, I've had a couple of hiccups with it where she's took the PTO out of gear and stuck herself in gear so I think she's well past the service to be honest with you. Uh, I'll probably stay on it myself and let Jack go back with a field bird and start doing Christmas field. I think that'll be the best job. Right, I'm sure you've had enough of uh, me rattling on, so I shall sign off for now, and I shall catch you later, and uh, yeah, thank you again for the truckers and that, and uh, trailer men for the help with the trailer, I appreciate it. Okay.
Catch you later. Bye-bye.